Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming to you with another episode of Knights of the Old Republic. Alrighty, when we left off, we were, uh, well, we had just defeated Bendex Starkiller via some shady uh, cheatsy doodles on my part. Uh, I didn't actually cheat. I was more of uh, using the pause menu to do health items and that sort of thing. Uh, that said, uh, it could be seen as scummy. So we got filthy. We got real filthy around here. Um, we did beat Bendex Star Killer. We got his bounty and the purse, which we uh, managed to persuade, um, at least on the purse for the fight, to be higher. So at least we have a little bit more in the caps area. Rather, caps? Credits. I was thinking of Fallout 76 recently. <laughs> anyway, um, <laughs> credits, we're at uh, 6446. 6, Damn, my, my brain is broken. <laughs> uh, I haven't had enough coffee yet. I've only had like one cup. All right, give me a second to finish that. Or at least down a little bit of that. Okay, didn't mean to slurp it. Anywho. Uh, now we are here at the race, uh, with the soup race, and hopefully, hopefully, we can, uh, complete it. It's been a long time since I did a swoop race. You're here to race, right? Okay, let's see who your sponsor is. Ah, you're writing for the Hidden Becks, I see. Always like them. I hope they can show these Volkers a thing or two, but I digress. Okay, you're registered now. Good luck, and try not to get yourself killed. We've only lost one rider today, and we want to keep it that way. Whenever you're ready, you can hit the track. Um, what happened to the rider you lost? Same as usual, he was pushing himself beyond his limits and he hit some debris on the track. The deflectors kept him from crashing, but the force of the impact jarred him from his swoop. Oh. Don't worry, they scraped what was left of him off the track already. <laughs> Just remember to hang on and you should be okay. You can hit the track whenever you're ready. Oh, I see. So that's how they die. The deflectors keep them from uh, exploding, <laughs> but uh, if they fall off the swoop, they're going to roll and roll until there is nothing left. Gotcha! Okay. Uh, what's the time to beat? Well, Redros has the best time so far, 38.43. Good, but not the best I've ever seen. I don't know if it'll stand up. Well, uh... We'll see if it does. <laughs> Guys, man, I am out of practice. Uh, I want to race one of my heats. Let's get you out on the track. All right, sounds good to me. Let's get going with my two swords. So cool. Okay. They at least tell you how to do it from the start. I forgot about that. That's good. Okay. Press A to accelerate and shift gears. Use the left thumbstick to avoid obstacles and hit accelerator pads. I can do that. Alright, I did it perfectly timed, more or less. Oop, okay. Oop, okay. Doing well so far. Oop, I missed that. Shit. Okay. Oop, shit, I'm missing some of these. Fuck. Fuck. Okay, 2511. I think that can't be beat. <laughs> I think that can't be beat. Yeah, you did it. You got the top time. You just beat racers who've been doing this for 20 years. This is amazing. Someone who's never ridden a swoop before today comes in here and... Wait a minute. I don't believe this. Look at the board. One of the Volkers just beat your time. Who? Ah, it was Redros. I should have known. That's okay. The day ain't over yet, and the accelerator's still holding together. You just have to get out there again and show them how it's done. Sure. Okay. Yeah. I barely did it that last time. Sure. Fucking, are you kidding me? Whew. I forgot about how his low voice was, but at that point, it kind of destroys my throat anyway, so I'm not going to do it again. <laughs> okay, let's go to the race announcer. Back again, I see. So are you ready to hit the track? Not literally, of course. We've already lost one rider that way today. <laughs> Could you stop bringing it up, please? 
I don't want to keep remind. I don't want to keep getting reminded of that, please. Uh, it's a time to be. 2486. You don't know if it will stand up? I just barely. Okay. Let's, let's get one of the heats. Let's get one of the heats going. Screw it. It's not going to go well. I was impressed with my last t attempt. I don't think I can do it again. Okay. Okay. Oh, fuck. I always miss that one. Okay. Maybe I can make it. Ah! 2386. Shaved a whole second off. did it you did it you did it in 20 years I've never seen anybody handle a swoop like that before nobody's going to beat that time nobody I guess Gadden knew what he was doing when he picked you to ride for us it's missing the when there now the only thing to do is wait for the time to become official and go collect your prize ladies and gentlemen I present to you the winner of this year's swoop race put your hands together and show your appreciation for one of the most daring riders this swoop track has ever seen fuck yeah through your skill and courage you have proven yourself the premier swoop rider on Taurus and brought great glory to the Hidden Beck Gang Fuck yeah, I did. Now here to present the champion's prize, Dredging, leader of the Black Volkers. People, hear me! Before I present the so-called champion of the Bex with their prize, there is something you must know. The winning rider cheated! With a thing you stole. Your damn liar, Dredging. Your swoop bike was using a prototype accelerator. Clearly an unfair advantage. Because of this really? Beck treachery, I'm withdrawing the Vulcan's share of the victory prize. What the fuck? You can't do this, Bredic. You know the rules. Nobody's allowed to withdraw a victory prize after the race. It goes against all our most sacred traditions. Not to mention, he stole the fucking swoop accelerator first to win with it. Your traditions are nothing to me. I am the wave of the future. Oh, fuck I you. I draw the prize and sell this woman on the slave market myself. Nobody can stop me. Except me I killing you. To say about that, Brezik. Oh! Impressive. <laughs> well. What? Impossible. You were restrained by a neural disruptor. How could you have possibly summoned the will to free yourself? You underestimate the strength of a Jedi's mind, Brezik. A mistake you won't live to regret. Vulcus, to oh. me! Kill this woman! Kill the swoop rider! Kill them all! Okay, well, she has now ignited the powder keg that was going on. <laughs> but, I mean, hey, to be fair, he uh, kind of brought it on himself. Uh, let's take care of you. Oh, come on, really? None of those hit? Come on, let me do some damage. Really? Nothing. Okay, I got a little bit on him. And I'm also getting hit from the back end. Oh boy. Okay. <laughs> Once more, back to the draw back to drawing out the fight with med packs. Okay, I got five. I got five damage on him. That's something. Alright, you know what? This guy from my <laughs> from behind me keeps doing that shit. Alrighty. Well, seems Bastila handled most of that. Shit. Oh! I'm assuming that's hers. A double-bladed lightsaber, Bredic's belt and armband, and gloves? Okay. A uh, decent amount of credits on that guy. Um, let me see what the armband is about. Uh, resistance to slashing. Bredic's armband, when used in conjunction with his belt, generates an effective barrier against melee attacks. Considering I'm the melee guy, that would be very useful to have on my person. Sure. Combined with his belt, since I don't need the saves on Fortitude... 
and resistance to bludgeoning. Alrighty. Cool. What about his gloves? What's with his gloves? Oh, added dexterity, which I don't need. Enhances the hand-eye coordination of the wearer. I do not need uh, more dexterity, so I will throw that on one of my ranged people. But for now... Uh, yeah, we're good. Good as we're gonna get. How does... How do I get more damage out of that than I do this? That's ridiculous. Okay, well... Bastila, you are saved! Maybe those bloody Vulcus will think twice next time before trying to keep a Jedi prisoner. Yeah, one would hope. Then again, there's not that many of them left now. Surprise. Wait, um, I don't believe that. I wasn't... Sure. You're one of the soldiers with the Republic fleet, aren't you? Yeah. Yes, I'm sure of it. How did you end up racing for these swoop gangs? Um, uh, I'm here to save you. Save me? Is that what you were trying to accomplish by riding in that swoop race? Yeah. Well, as far as rescues go, this is a pretty poor example. Hey! In case you hadn't noticed, I managed to free myself from that neural restraint collar without your help. Yeah. In fact, it's more accurate to say that I saved you. Brezhik and um, Marcus would have left you for... I was at least another helper in the fight. ...to get you out of this mess. Uh, um, I think... <laughs> I didn't... <laughs> We don't have time for this. Karth is waiting for us. He's alive. Finally, some good news. Karth is one of the Republic's best soldiers. Yeah. He's proved himself a hero a dozen times over. And he sent you here to save me. Maybe I misjudged you. Oh, so now you call it saving. He wasn't okay. confident in your abilities. Forgive me. Despite my Jedi training, I still tend to act a bit rashly sometimes. Well, Please, you seem younger than me. So. Between the three of us, I'm sure we can figure out some way to get off this planet before the Sith realize we're here. All right, fair enough. Ah, huh. so she was there with the fight on ship to get Revan with a couple other Jedi. Okay, more than a couple. You cannot a few. Revan. Clearly he thought otherwise. Until he got blown the fuck up. <laughs> the FMVs Bastille, or something else. You're alive. Finally things are looking up. Yeah, a little bit. Figure out a way to get off this planet. You mean you don't have a plan to get off Taurus yet? What have you been doing all this time? Uh, saving your ass. <laughs> we were trying to find you and get your ass out of that prison cell ish thing cage that you were in don't you remember the last 10 minutes that was what we were trying to do first i see now that i'm back in charge of this mission perhaps we can start doing sorry in okay. charge hopefully our escape from terrace will go more smoothly than when you rescued me from Brezhik. I'm sorry, I knew it this charge? Bastilla, but a leader doesn't berate her troops just because things aren't going as planned. Don't let your ego get in the way of the real issues here. That hardly yeah. strikes me as an appropriate way of addressing your commander, Karth. I'm a member of the Jedi. Okay, Miss Bighead. Mind. Don't forget that. My battle meditation ability has helped the Republic many times in this war, and it will serve us well here, I'm sure. Your talents might win us a few battles, but that doesn't make you a good leader. A good leader would at least listen to the advice of those who have seen more combat than she ever will. That is true. That is very true. You get advice when you can about things that will help you, for fuck's sake. Uh, I mean, he's... Yeah, this one. You aren't showing much leadership ability right now, Bastila. You know, I had my doubts about this mission, but I figured the Jedi Council wouldn't put you in charge if you weren't prepared. But here you are, acting like a spoiled child. Pretty much. See, it's true that I don't have much military experience. Perhaps I should not be so quick to judge. Very well, Karth. What do you suggest we do? Good. Off, now we got some reasonability out of her. In charge. We all need to work together if we want to get off this rock. The answer is out there. We just have to find it. Well said, Karth. Good. And the sooner we Good. start looking, the better. Some the sense out of these people. The Volkers, and I don't plan on being captured by the Sith. Yeah, that, that would not be a good thing to do. Um, so what now? I think we'll need some help getting off Terrace. Maybe if we ask around, one of the locals can help us out. We should probably start by asking around in the cantinas. All right. Is something wrong? You seem as if something's troubling you. Um, something weird happened when we first met a vision. A vision? A vision of what? Of you, fighting a dark Jedi. Revan, I guess. This is a bit strange. 
Such visions are often a sign of force sensitivity. Are you saying I can use the force? Or rather, force sensitivity? What do you mean? I'm not sure. It may be that you have some connection to the force. It would not be unheard of. When we first met, your natural talent may have fed off my own force abilities. It is possible that in the hmm. excitement of the battle's aftermath, the force allowed you to witness one of my more intense memories. Huh. This isn't the first time I've had a vision. The force is complicated. Even I, with all my training, cannot fully understand it yet. This is a matter best left to the wise masters of the Jedi Council. Once right. we escape Terrace, we can seek the guidance of the Council if you wish. They will understand the significance of your vision, if there is any. However, I think it would be best if we all stayed focused on the task at hand right now. Okay. We can't afford any distractions. We need to find a way off Terrace. Alrighty. Mysterious things. Sitting in the background. Waiting for the masters of the Jedi Council to unveil them, maybe? Eh? Eh? Nah, nah. Not gonna be that simple. Why would it be that simple? Alrighty. So. You experienced a powerful vision upon first meeting Bastila. The vision could be an indication that you have a strong connection with the Force, but Bastila was reluctant to speculate on such matters. Obviously. Why would you? Uh, Bastila has been found, but you still have no way to escape Taurus. Not only do you need the departure codes to get past the Sith blockade surrounding Taurus, you also need to find a ship. You're probably going to need help from one of the locals to get off the planet. And we'll have to go to cantinas to do it. Okay, well. Uh, let's get out of here. Probably shouldn't bring her with me, because, uh... That lightsaber will give it away a lot. Uh, that said, um, well, I do kind of need to round out my party. <sighs> Probably not a good idea to bring out Bastila. Uh, let's bring out uh, Zalbar. You know, let's let's have Zalbar with us. Oh, you there, human. You were the rider who won the great swoop race in the lower city, yes? Uh, yeah, that was me. I have a message from Candorus Ordo. He says to meet him in the cantina. Candorus? Isn't he that Mandalorian that works for Davik? Yes, that's the one. Given his connections, you can see why it would be wise to attend his meeting. Candorus didn't say why he wanted to meet you. He only said he had an offer you couldn't refuse. Given his connections, you can see why it would be foolish to ignore it. Alright, I'll go meet him in the canteen. A wise choice, human. I would advise you not to wait too long. Mandalorians are known for many things, but patience is not one of them. Yeah, you're not wrong. Alrighty, cool. Alright, so let's look at the party... She needs the gloves, obviously. He has good weapon in hand. I don't think he needs to worry about much else other than that. Uh, give him a couple energy shields. Why not? Um, let's give me the stronger shield. Why not? Yeah. Give me a stronger one. Oops. Uh, give her... Yeah, that's one of the more worn down ones. Give him one of the worn down ones. That way I have more uses in reserve than I do anything else for other people. Oh, he can he can wear implants. That's cool. Uh, dexterity plus one would be good. I was about to say she wouldn't she wouldn't have the ability to wear that, would she? Now that I think about it. Ah well. Okay. Um. He had a level. Let's do that. Um, huh. Might as well put some points there. Put some points there. Would it be a good idea to keep pushing treat injury? It wouldn't be the worst idea. Uh computer loose loose use <laughs> i was gonna say sorely lacking and i guess for some reason my brain decided to jump a few words ahead to combine those two fuck me i guess all right all right there we go except 
and we're good. Okay, swap to me. Uh, escaping Taurus. A messenger has informed you that Candrus Ordo, a Mandalorian working for the local crime lord, wants a meeting. Although associating with a known felon may not be the wisest move, you do need all the potential allies you can get if you want to get off Taurus. Candrus will be waiting for you in the cantina. Okay, onward we go! Alrighty. And which way is out? I want to say all the way at the bottom. I don't think it mattered which way I went. I think I went the longest way, though. I did. Okay. Well, fuck me. Fuck me running. I keep forgetting how fast the loading screens are, and when I try to take a drink of my coffee, I take too big a gulp because I wasn't paying attention. And then I remember it's really hot as it burns my esophagus. What the fuck? <laughs> the fuck was that? What did I get stuck on? That was weird. Okay. Well, anyway. Cantina entrance. I'm assuming he meant the upper city cantina. He may have meant the lower city one. Oops. Either way, we'll find out. Oh, he, was, he meant this one. Should I... Hmm. Now that I think about it, I should have brought her with me. She does need the level ups. Yeah, I should bring her with me. She'd be another melee character, so... It would be nice to have that as well. Okay, and I think I can party select... Although it is going to look a bit harem-esque with two women. <laughs> Unintentional, I assure you. Unintentional. Um, but I prefer Mission over Karth. A little bit. A little bit. Ah. Uh. Uh. Makes me look like a skeevy asshole, which I <laughs> basically am. <laughs> okay, you know what? Uh, let's take that off of her. Um, go back to here. Party selection. There we go. All right, Karth. You get to come with me. Just so I don't look like an asshole. <laughs> All right. Give you the gloves. You have a neural band now. Uh, military suit's good for you. Ion blaster. Oh. Upgradable, too. I wonder. Uh, Ion is really good to have in the offhand, though. Ah. Uh. Mmm. Damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. It is stronger. It has a longer effective range. But Ion is very useful to have. Uh, it has also an attack modifier. Damn it! Alright, you know what? We'll upgrade it as we go along. We'll see how much better it gets. And then we'll decide that. For now, we're going to keep him with an Ion Blaster in the hand. Or we could give Bendax to... Uh, give that to Mission. That's an idea. Okay. It's essentially identical in some of its stats to Bendax. Karth's Blaster, that is. Okay. Someone has very heavy footsteps. Okay. <laughs> anyway. Sure, right, I should what can I do? pop to her and get her levels upgraded. Uh, why is her dexterity as high as it is? That doesn't seem like something you would want 
upgraded. Okay, for defense rating, I guess, maybe. Um... Up her, uh, it's not go with charisma because it's useless for uh, a uh, player character, uh, uh, semi player character, rather, because she is a playable character but not the main character. So, um, maybe wisdom would be a good way to go, I think. I don't know. All right, um, okay, I do not have a lot of points to work with, just move them around, both, all right, uh, recommended, no, I'm not going to go to recommended, oh, I don't, I can't, I can't add that, damn it, all right, um, affect mind, stun, uh, let's go to stun droid, that's, that's useful, um, Two more there. It's good. Can I? Damn it! Not yet. Fuck. It's level six. It's level six. I can do that. Okay. Alrighty, that's good to know. Um. For speed. Ugh. It's useful, but I mean. That only affects her. Mm. Energy resistance. This one at least is a party buff, so I'll go with that. Alright, and uh, add more to you and you. Uh... Force immunity stun and night sense. Huh. Useful. Funny enough, apparently the uh, two weapon fighting uh, perk for dual bladed is actually broken. I've heard. So uh, <laughs> I don't actually need it. <laughs> it's just kind of cool. So um, with that in mind... I might just put it into something that is more useful uh, for me, which would be, would it be toughness, really? Um, immunity stun, night sense, that was the stuff I got for free. Uh, once 12, it'll replace night. All right. Okay, you know what? What I should do is upgrade that to improved flurry, which will make her flurries at least more powerful and more versatile. Will only uh, suffer a negative two to defense and a uh, negative two to attacks. Whereas at the first level, it's negative four and negative four. And then this one will be negative one, which is almost nothing, especially when you upgrade the items well enough that it negates all of that. So, yeah, we'll go with that. Powers. Uh, now I can actually add a heal. Thank you. So useful. So useful to have a heal. Okay. Cantina entrance. Okay. Now let's go back. <laughs> Alrighty. Hey, Candace. I saw you in the swoop race. Very impressive. Thank you. You seem like you know how to get results. Yeah, I do. That's just the kind of person I'm looking for. Uh, what are you talking about? My name's Candorus Ordo. I work for Davik Kang in the exchange. Yeah, I know who the you are. The hours aren't great, but they promised me a fortune to work for them. And I have nothing better to do. Fair enough. Mandalorian mercs like me are in high demand. But lately, yeah, I bet. Davik hasn't been paying me what he promised. Really? I don't like getting cheated. So I figure it's time for me to break the Sith quarantine and get off this backwater planet. That's fair. That is more than fair. Getting cheated would, uh... Yeah, that would suck on that. 
Wouldn't personally know, but I would assume that uh, it's not the greatest feeling. Uh, yeah, it's probably about time for you to get out of here. Uh, we kind of need to get out too. Maybe we could tag along. Uh, why are you telling me this? I've got a plan to escape Taurus, but I can't do it alone. I see. I need someone I know can get the job done to help me. That's where you come in. Fair Can't enough. Mercs like this having a lick of conscience. They'll betray you in a heartbeat. This could be a trap. I ain't talking to you. I'm talking to your friend, aren't I? I saw you yeah. win the group race and started thinking. You are. Anyone crazy enough to race like that is probably crazy enough to break into the Sith military base. Whoa. I need someone to steal <laughs> you want me to what? launch codes from the base. Without those codes, any ship leaving the atmosphere will be disintegrated by the Sith fleet's automated defense guns. Okay. That's fair. What's in this for me? Uh, I'm assuming it'll help. He'll help me get off this rock. So why should I help you? Here's the deal. You bring me those launch codes, and I can provide the vehicle to get us off the planet. Davik's flagship, the Ebon Hawk. Oh. Oh. All right. Uh, how am I supposed to get into the military base? Getting in won't be easy. The Sith base is protected by an encrypted security system. Uh -huh. It would take a top-of-the-line astromech droid to slice through it. Fair. Lucky for you, I know just the place to get a droid like that. Davik was having one custom built by Janice Nall. Oh, I know just her. Tell her Kander has sent you, and she'll sell you the droid. Then you can use it to get the launch codes from the Sith base. I see. That sounds like a brilliant plan. Sounds like a very brilliant plan. And it gets me that robot in the process. So win-win. Uh, won't Davik get mad if we take his droid? Davik paid for the droid, but I'm the guy he put in charge of the mission. Oh. He won't care how I come up with those codes. I Normally see. I do this myself, but everyone knows who I work for. If I broke into the Sith base, they'd send an army down on Davik's estate to get those codes back. Ah. That's why I need you. I'm an unknown quantity. Thus it gets the heat off Davik and your back. Okay. Alright. I like your plan. I like your plan. You got a deal. I don't sense any deception from him, which is surprising. This may be exactly what we need. I'm going to wait in Javiar's All cantina. Right. You come and find me when you've got those launch codes, and I'll make sure we both get off this rock. Sounds good. All right, I'll see you at the Lower City Cantina when I do the thing, which will be soon. Some of you may be asking, when, am, are, you, when are you going to do Pazak? Wooly and Pat did Pazak. To be fair, Pat was more dragged along by his nose, and Wooly demanded that he had his triple triad. So, <laughs> that much I know. Oh, Bastila seems to have something on her mind. Perhaps you should talk to her about it. How can I help? Uh, you want to talk to me about something? I would like to know what happened after you crashed on Taurus. I'm curious oh. as to what you and Karth were doing before we all joined forces. Um, you mean before he rescued you? I managed to free myself, as I recall. In fact, if I hadn't been there, Brezik and his thugs might have killed you in that fight. It's probably more accurate to say that I rescued you. You, you you keep wanting to stick to that point, but you know what? You didn't escape until I arrived, as I recall. I'll admit that I probably wouldn't have been able to free myself if not for the brawl after the swoop race. I guess I should thank you for that, at least. Thank Actually, you. Your presence at the swoop track is what I'm curious about. It couldn't have been an easy task to find me there, yet somehow you managed. You True. also avoided detection by the Sith, True. discovered I was a Volker prisoner, True. gained sponsorship for the race, and True. became the Taurus Swoop champion. Yep. That's quite a resume. Yeah, very, very, very impressive resume. And uh, what can I say? I'm a talented individual, but I'm going to also say I had a lot of help. Karth, Mission, Zalbar. Your modesty is admirable, but though others helped, you were the catalyst for these events. When True. you were chosen to join this mission, I doubt any of us expected this much from you. A Jedi could really? have done such things, of course, but only by drawing heavily upon the Force. Are you still saying that I'm uh, able to do the Force? Is that what you're saying? The Force is in all of us, though for most people it's barely a measurable whisper. 
I see. There are some individuals outside the Jedi Order that we consider Force sensitive. Okay. It's obvious to me that the Force has been working through you. There is no other explanation for your great success. Though I'm not certain what to make of this discovery. Perhaps if you weren't, well, if you were younger, the Jedi might take you for training. But as it is. Mm -hmm. But because I'm not a babby, you're not going to take me for training? How rude. <laughs> uh, be glad I'm Force sensitive or I couldn't have rescued you. Uh, what are you trying to say? I'm sorry. I've overstepped my authority. I'm speaking of things that are best left to the Jedi Council. Okay. For now, let's just accept the fact that you're gifted. Hopefully, yeah. between your abilities, gifted. my Jedi training, and the skills of our companions, we can find a way off this planet. Here's hoping. That's the uh, best we can hope for, honestly. Journal entry added. Okay. So, at least she's willing to admit I'm awesome. <laughs> so, uh, we're uh, quite a bit over time. I'm going to end the episode here for right now because, well, I mean, we did everything we set out to do. Plus some. So, yeah. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. And click the like button if you like this particular video. And share in comments so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. And I will see you all in the next episode. This has been the one the only way, Stray Cat, playing games and rescuing, uh, rescuing Bastila, even though she doesn't like that term. Uh, that really is more apt than she wants to admit. And uh, defeating Bredjik and getting a new plan to get off the planet which i mean we didn't really have a plan to begin with but now we actually have a legitimate plan for you